example that uses Venn diagrams to solve this probability problem. We've got a class of 30 students. Uh, 3 out of the 16 girls and 6 out of the 14 boys are left-handed. We want to know the probability that a student chosen at random is a boy or left-handed. Okay, this is tricky and drawing a diagram really helps, a Venn diagram here. Okay, so the two events I'm going to define is someone being left-handed and someone being a boy. Okay, so there's all the left-handers, there's all the boys. Okay, so let's look at the numbers here. We've got 30 students all together. Um, first of all, there's six boys that are left-handed. So therefore, the number in the middle, that is the intersection, is six. The total number of boys is 14 which means there's eight boys that are not left-handed, so they're right-handed. Okay, three out of the 16 girls are left-handed, so that means the people outside the boys' circle, but inside the left-handed circle, must be the left-handed girls, so that's three. Okay, adding those all together now, we've got six plus eight, 14 plus three, 17, but the class contained 30 people, so that means there's 13 people on the outside, who are not boys or left-handed, so they must be the right-handed girls. Okay, tricky. Now we can answer the question. What's the probability that a randomly chosen uh, student is a boy or left-handed? Okay, so that means we're just adding up these three numbers here. So we've got 17 out of 30. I just want to use that example now to illustrate one of the laws that I showed you earlier on. Uh, for probability of A union B. If we look at that Venn diagram again, uh, let's use A and B rather than L and B. The number in A or B is anything shaded there. So if we're talking about the union, A union B would be all that was shaded there. So 3 plus 6 plus 8. That was the answer to the last question. Now if we use N A or B to indicate the number of elements in, we've got 17 elements in A or B. The number of elements in A is 9, the number of elements in B, 6 plus 8, is 14, the number of elements in the intersection is 6. So another way of getting the probability or the number in A or B is adding up all the elements in A, adding up all the elements in B, and subtracting the elements in A intersection B. You can see that I've counted that six part, the six people who in our example were left-handed boys, I've counted them twice, so I have to subtract it off. Okay, so that's where we get that red formula there which is an important formula that I showed you earlier in probability. Here's one more example of using Venn diagrams to solve problems. We've got uh, 15 mixed plants, 6 petunias, 8 yellow, and 3 both. What's the probability that if a plant is picked at random that's either a petunia or yellow, either a petunia or yellow, but not both? Tricky without the diagram. Okay, so we could use the formula first, and then I'll do it using a Venn diagram. So defining these events is really helpful. P is the event that we get a petunia. Y is the event that it's yellow. So for part A, we want probably of A or B, or sorry, P or Y, so that would be the union. So that formula that we just derived is written out here. So the probability that it's a petunia is 6 out of 15. The probability that it's yellow is 8 out of 15. The probability that it's both, 3 out of 15. So the answer to the first one is 11 out of 15. The probability that it's either a petunia or yellow but not both, well, we've got to subtract another probability of P and Y from the middle. So the answer is 8 over 15. That last one's easier to see with a Venn diagram. So let's do that with a Venn diagram. Here's the numbers. Three are both. The total number of petunias is 6, which means that value there must be 3. The total number of yellow plants is 8, which means that value there must be 5. Now if we add those all up, we get 11 but we had 15 plants, so there must be four on the outside. Okay, so the probability of P or Y, P union Y, five plus three plus three over 15, 11 over 15. The probability that it's either petunia or yellow, but not both, that's just the five and the three there. 
Okay. So add those two together, giving us 8 out of 15. We've got two events here. A is probability of A is 0.5, probability of B is 0.7, and this one here is a bit tricky. Probability of A complement intersection B complement is 0.2. Okay, let's let's look at the Venn diagram here. The probability of A and B, let's let's say that that's P. So the probability of A, if the whole circle here has to be 0.5, that means this area here has got to be 0.5 minus P. Same with B. The whole of B is 0.7. This part here has got to be 0.7 minus P. Okay? Then if you add that circle up, you get 0.7. That's tricky. Now, this probability here is what's on the outside, what's common to everything outside of A and outside B. Okay, so this is the, the region outside the two circles. That's 0.2. Okay, now it's just a matter of forming an equation. If we add these three parts together, we must get 0.8. That's right, because the total probability has got to be 1. We've got 0.2 on the outside, so these three bits must add to 0.8. Okay, if you add those together, so they've added on the 0.2 here, so you could take that across, 0.8. 0.5 plus 0.7 is 1.4, minus P plus P cancels out, minus P. So we get this, so P is equal to 0.4. And that's what we're looking for, the probability of A intersection B, or A and B.